So these are the dryer sections, the vents that have been replaced. Loads of questions about the fence. Where's the fence? When's it coming? Morning, Holly. Here we are. We coming. Nailed it. Right, good morning. Just wait. Oh, Jesus. Just getting a livestock trailer on this morning. Going to shift the two cows of Yonis along into a different paddock and also the one that's just calved because she's really late and she's not going to pick up a calf by the time the bulls come out. Um, so she's going to go along the road as well to get a bit of beef on her. This will be the first time I've pulled any cattle with this land rover. Right, we're good to go. See what she's like, pull out a few cattle. Theoretically, I should be back to kind of normal videos now. Sunday video, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Nobody Friday, nobody Saturday. Everything should be back to normal. That is just shifting a trailer out of the big shed there. Because we're concreting, can't get in and out of the shed for, uh, how long is it? It's a month, basically. Once the concrete's poured to let it set, something like that. Anyway, we're getting a trailer out in case we need to go and pick up wood chip. We've taken out wheat for hen feeds, that sorted, and we've taken out egg boxes that we'll need, so we're not going to have access into the big shed for about a month. These are the first three beasts, so cow with yonis and twins, so she's to disappear off the farm once these two are weaned. Come on in. Have you go, come on. There we go, that's them in. No issues. One cow, two calves done. Just need to get two cows and two calves out of the other field, but we need to bring in a big batch of them to be able to peel off the right ones. Grab the wee trough for them as well. Hi, Doug. Right, let's get these ones out. Morning, pal, out you go. One. Come on. Come on. No, just come out of the As you can see, this grass is uh, needing mown down. Go on then, there you go. Come on, come on. I think Dad's quite liking the Land Rover. Saves his car anyway. Right, I've got a tag here and some bovox and injection for these two calves. Right, everything's tagged and jagged up. Just need to get this cow and calf into the trailer. Easier said than done. Come on, beast. Come on, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going. That's us, we've got the last of the cows and the calves that we're needing. That's also taken two cows and calves off of the grass. So that's kind of 10% down in that field and it's getting a bit bare, so that'll help a wee bit. There we go. What are you doing? Born yesterday doing absolutely cracking that calf. I think Lily quite likes the Land Rover. Hey beast. Right, container. Wheels are getting pumped up because so I'm needing to shift out of the road so the joiners can get into the big open folding door. There's a counter behind that door. I need to cut a hole, a hole in the counter. So let's get this strap wrapped around the forks and I just need to wheak it around a wee bit. Right, that'll do it. Right, just getting this uh, cabinet down because this is what the hole in uh, the counter is getting cut for. This size of thing, so I need to measure it. Right, unpackaged, a few measurements to get. I've just been away all day, it's the, it's the kind of evening now already, but anyway, joiners have been cut a hole in that, which is looking absolutely fantastic. There's a cabinet going in there, so that's the countertop. This is going to fold out the way, I need to finish that edge off. 
lighting, countertop. It's coming together, getting there. There you go, you can see how it's coming along. That needs a stain on it or a finish, a varnish of some sort. Had a shambles with my car, I was heading somewhere, running out of diesel, so pulled in to fill up. One of the keys for this has been through the wash so the fob doesn't work and you need the fob to unlock this. So I was stuck heading somewhere with not enough diesel, so I just had to rip it off. And anyway, I've not actually broken anything, so it'll all go back together. Shows how secure it is though. Meant to be locked, but like, I managed to get in without breaking anything. It's half seven now, but there's quite a lot of cars in the car park because we do a steak night in the shop uh, every so often. If you look on Facebook and Instagram, you'll be able to see the dates when we do steak nights. Sunflowers, they're absolutely charging. This end rig is not charging. They are there and they are, uh, there's quite a lot of weeds to them. So we're probably actually just going to let these grow weeds and then top this bit and have it a bit more grass area because it's not that important. We don't need to worry about it. But as for the main body of the field, flying. Most definitely next year we'll work the ground, leave stuff to germinate, spray it off then. So this year we didn't. Last year we did because um, we re sowed them. There's definitely a lot more weed pressure this year. So next year, that's thing to keep in mind. Weed pressure on Endrick is definitely going to be visible uh, once they get up to full height. They've basically been swamped by weeds over here. Not looking too pretty. They're still there. Who's going to win? Sunflowers, the weeds, predictions below. I thought the weeds would have fully taken over by now, but yeah, it's going to be touch and go. You can see it right down here on the end rig. It's amazing. The sun's finished over there. So this is the backside of them and they're all facing that way. You turn around, they're all facing into you. From that to that. You can see the tulip patch. You can see the sunflowers coming. They are coming. Oh, I don't know how thick they'll be. This weed pressure next door as well. There's a few issues in this field, but we're just gonna have to deal with what issues come. That's the way it goes. It'll be what it's be. There's kind of nothing we can do about it now, unless you want to go out with a hoe and weed all the weeds out, which I don't want to do. So, so we'll leave it be. Cross our fingers. Right, Highland Show done. Good tune. Back to reality. Coos and cats. It's coming for a wee spin around here. Here's the psycho cow. How's she doing today? Maybe jump out and give her a wee bit of grub. You okay beast? Maybe not. Just go and eat some grub. I'm a friend, I'm a pal. Keep giving her a wee bit of grub every morning. Hopefully, hopefully she'll start playing ball. Fed them all up there originally, but these lot didn't come up. So Now these cows have realized there's grub here now. Charging down. So this is the wee runt of a calf we've kind of got. It's a twin, and that's the other twin. You can see how much the other twins kicked on and grown. This wee fella just hasn't budged. There must be something not right with him. There's nothing obvious. He's he's always up. He's he drinks. He stoats about. Any theories? Put them down below. But he's just he's never budged in size. He's basically he'll have grown a tiny wee bit, but versus the other twin, nothing. Finished up with a banger out here in the sunflower So just get this pulled in. Lefty tighty righty Lucy, which is actually true for gas. Right, we're loaded up. Safety first, safety second. Hey Doug, it's a bit windy, but um, I've just mounted a basket for the dog. I think it might be a wee, a wee bit big. Right, I'm just fiddling about in a container here, and basically this joint here, uh, a few people suggested chuck in a 90 degree, which I've got now, and that'll give me more slack, so I don't need to cut these corners. So we'll get that 90 in there and then the pipe will run off here and I don't lose all that of curve. I think they design it like that so it goes tight there. Right that's a lot better not cutting the corner so much here and the same up there. I am going to need a bit of slack here because when I open this door the ram is going to move out a bit and it'll move this a wee bit so we'll need to just test that and see how it works. Ready for concrete coming on Tuesday I think the concrete's coming in so this strip down there and then round to the front of the shed but they've actually concreted an edge in there which is quite good because then once the new concrete gets poured in and set you're not taking anything away there's a hard surface kind of holding up the edge because that's where you get cracks and bits that fall apart is that edge it was always in the plan to do the concrete per cube it's gone up quite a bit and um, price wise we ended up quite lucky with the shed the timing of the shed just we put it up pre all these price rises coming we didn't know any of that was coming that was just pure luck steel concrete uh, labor diesel all of it's gone up quite significantly so 
we were lucked out quite well with that so the concrete yes has gone up in price to do the pad to finish it but that was always in the plan and we're thinking we've done quite well with the shed and we're happy with that so just finish it all off and that's it done and dusted and tidy up the yard a good bit of yard for working on Laurie's coming in not making a mess of the shed we can use it to dump stuff if we've got wet wheat when this shed fills up things like that so that'll be it done and dusted right i've got a livestock trailer to wash what do you think we'll see on the back of that tractor coming s well not coming soon but coming eventually will it be red will it be orange and green will it be green and yellow who knows so many different options with the sprayers um, in terms of you've got options of width leveling boom control in terms of how many nozzles you want all the nozzles you want some of the nozzles gps controlled auto shut off how their systems work whether it's air whether it's um, electric valve systems if the steering axles are steered via a wee gyroscope or they're done via um, connection to the tractor tank size filling capacity types of the sensors they use to boom level keep plugging away and eventually we'll, we'll pick one but like i've said before we're not in a rush, um, our sprayer works perfectly well. Righty ho, I've left it to dry so it'll be harder to clean. Genius Crawford. Choke off. Threads are not up. There we go. Let's get this cleaned. There we go, job done. The reason I've done that is I've got a couch to pick up. Get rid of the pressure. I've been a bit ill, but um, I'm just coming to do a few updates because I've not actually been doing any work. Kev's been for a load of wood chips, that's been put into the hopper, and that trailer there is filled with feed to go along to yard 3, there's a bit of spare left over. Harvest engineering are here to do a couple more things to the dryer. So these are the dryer sections, the vents that have been replaced, and I'll show you what they've done up here. So they were corroded right the way through some of these bits as well, so they put in kind of a baffle plate to fit. That'll stop the corrosion going that way. These vents have been replaced, so they've not, they're not corroded anymore. And also in the winter, they suggested pull out these bolts and that'll allow a path for the water to get out the dryer. Hopefully reduce the corrosion, but we need to just make sure and clean these out really well. Same on the other side. And then once we're done over here, at the same time, there's concrete getting poured, hopefully tomorrow, but the weather's not to be good. So mm, I'm not sure how that's gonna go, but it's, it's getting done in three pours. One, two, three, and that'll just finish off the yard completely. Here's the old vents, you can see, just riddled with corrosion. So they've completely replaced them. And then spud boxes, Kev's been picking up spud boxes as well. We got, we ordered some half ones. Um, these are kind of for the shop, for flowers and whatever kind of stuff out the front of the shop. So just a bit of variation to normal spud box because we've got loads of those. Loads of questions about the fence. Where's the fence? When's it coming? I'll give you a quick rundown. Basically, it was meant to arrive end of April, start of May. Now the 27th of June, so it's coming up on two months late. It didn't arrive when it was meant to arrive, which I didn't think it was going to be on time anyway, so I wasn't too worried. Then Agco had a cyber attack, which they're still dealing with today. It's been about a month till, since that cyber attack. Their systems are still not up and running. Agco basically own Fent or the parent company or whatever. They own a lot of different Agri brands. So they got attacked by a cyber attack, so that didn't help. That delayed it a lot. They couldn't look up in the systems and find out where the Fent was, where in the production line. It came off the production line pending parts. That was before the cyber attack. Then they couldn't find where it was because the system went kaput. Then about two weeks ago, they said it's, it's been posted, so to speak. And it's they get given 10 days, a 10 day slot that when they send it off, within 10 days, it will arrive. It didn't arrive within the 10 days. I've not spoken to them within the last few days, but I assume it's still not arrived. I'm hoping it arrives this week. It's Monday today. Hopefully it arrives this week. It's to go to the dealership for a PDI and a few other bits and bobs before we actually get it. So I've been there for a couple of days. I'm cross my fingers. This week it will arrive. Quite funny, at the John Deere event I was at the other night, um, Netherton, who are our local, local dealers for John Deere kit, and they were saying if you ordered a John Deere, it would have been here by now, which it would have. They had some in stock, which was which were the spec we were looking for. Could have got it that week. We weren't in a rush for a tractor, um, so we'll stick with what we were going for. But yeah, it's two months it's coming up two months late now. It's fine this time of year. We're not desperate for it, but if we had ordered it and it was going to arrive around harvest time, wouldn't be so cool, calm, and collected about it. Don't want it to be too much later. If I get any pictures or any major updates, I will let you know. Um, but other than that, I'm not mentioning Fent again. I'm getting sick of it. 
Anyway, cheers for watching. I should be back to normal tomorrow. I'm definitely feeling a lot better today. I was well, pretty rough last night. Cheers for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe a fent will arrive.